So, an email came in one day from Moots Bikes. Would you like to go to Iceland on a bikepacking tour with Sai from GCN and ride one of our lovely titanium bikes? Well, yeah, of course I do. So this is Iceland. We're just outside of Reykjavik, getting set up for our ride that starts tomorrow. We're at Ice Bike. So these people, guys, mountain bike tours around Iceland. Got some amazing vehicles. Check out the tires on this thing. So obviously they need trucks to get virtually anywhere. We're going over sort of near the volcanoes, over the lava fields. We're just planning the trip now, where we're going to be riding. Getting the bikes ready, getting the kit ready, so check out what's inside here. So this is the bike I'm riding. Uh, me and Sai are sort of revisiting the mountain bike versus gravel bike. We're riding Moots bikes. So I've got the Mountaineer. It's a YBB, they call it. That's a soft tail. I've never ridden one of those before. It's gonna be great for this sort of adventure riding. Plus size tires, got all my kit. We're trying to work out now what we need to take with us uh, in case of wet weather, obviously food. I've got a sleeping bag in the back of there. I have shot like a full kit list video uh, that should be out already. So check that out if you've not seen that. Falling in love with this bike. Check it out. Always wants to take it. It's pretty different to what you normally ride, mate. <laughs> Slightly, but I sort of, I don't know. The more I age, the more I, these bikes appeal to me. Good times, isn't it? The tires are too big on that, basically. Oh, there's no way. At least it hasn't got a dropper post, but <laughs> yeah. 2.6 inch tires. No, so I've got, my tires are so skinny, they're measured in millimeters. 45 mil gravel tires on there, no suspension. You ever seen that side? That is. I have, mate. I saw one of those in 1998. Soft tail. Yeah. I've never ridden one before. It's going to be perfect, mate. It is. Bunch of Given yeah. how far we've got to ride each day, I think having a little bit less rolling resistance, something a little bit lighter, is gonna definitely play into my hands. So where are we going to ride then? Well, we've plotted a 130 kilometer route split over two days. I wanted more and Neil, well, wanted less. We will be riding through the Highlands region, which is in the south of the island, mostly on gravel roads, but with some simple single track thrown in for good measure. And frankly, to stop Neil moaning. We will be starting at the snow line and winding through volcanoes and rivers and glaciers to our overnight hut, and then on around Iceland's most active volcano, Hekla, and back to civilization, or tarmac at least. Check out the rock. What are you thinking about a gravel bike, Si, rather than a mountain bike? I don't know, if I'm completely honest. I reckon both are gonna be absolutely awesome. I just can't wait to get started, mate. Still driving towards the start of the ride and we're at about a thousand meters elevation now. Shall we? Let's do it mate. <laughs> you lead on Fatty. Where are we going that way? It's plus one. Plus size model. I'm not gonna lie, if it was all riding on glaciers, I think I'd probably go for that bike. Well, that was fun. I feel, felt a bit reckless, like we're in the middle of nowhere. 
sliding around, but it's unbelievable. Right, back onto gravel, come on then. the nicest of double track I've ever ridden. All that sort of volcanic dust. It's just so smooth. It's like, I don't know what it's like. It's not like anything I've ridden before. How is it on the skinny tires? Uh, well, I'm not entirely sure I'm quite as fast as Neil down those hills, uh, but it's still super smooth. Like, I mean, it's incredible. If you, if you realized well, you, you were quite happy with the fact that you were in the middle of nowhere and if you injured yourself, you'd be completely screwed. You could probably let it rip, it'd be mega. Well, it's mega anyway, but just being a bit cautious. And we've just ridden through some steam. What, what is it? It's just like vent Geothermal holes. Geothermal activity, I believe, now. You can feel hot air and it stinks of sulfur. I've ridden down to this most amazing stream crossing. It's quite a big one. Get rid of the riding shoes. I've got some Vans plimps old. Gonna roll up my trousers. <laughs> I'm gonna get very cold. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, that I got wet feet anyway doing that. Yeah, not too bad. How are the toes, Si? Uh, they haven't gone numb yet, but I've got to try. And be as quickly as possible. It's actually not as cold as I thought it was going to be. Oh, Neil. Oh, he made it look easy. <laughs> Doing it again. <laughs> we shall continue. the word I think. Unbelievable. Just can't believe how many times I just sort of thought to myself I've never seen anything so amazing in my life. It just kept happening all day long <laughs> until you got, so, sort of got used to it. Just I can't believe how much the scenery's changed as well. Just volcanoes, amazing single tracks, amazing gravel roads, riding in sort of that black volcanic ash. Check out this hut. There's nothing like camping food, is there, Neil? <laughs> All this obviously was in uh, various different saddlebags, handlebar bags. And, uh, it's lying. Yeah. So we stayed in this sort of refuge out in the middle of nowhere last night. Did about 70k of gravel roads and single track. I said it was amazing. My legs are tired though, and we're sort of 
behind the most uh, active volcano in Iceland, Hekla. We've seen volcanoes all day yesterday, but what an amazing place. Like, feels like we're really in the middle of nowhere. Well, that's it for a couple of days riding in the highlands up in Iceland. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing. We're back in Reykjavik. I'm getting ready to pack the bikes. So we're leaving today for the UK. Site is just around the corner, literally at Life. You know, the people who make that crazy suspension fork, he's checking out their new gravel bike. So I'm packing the bikes up. Uh, it's crazy, the weather has been amazing whilst we've been here. Two days, no rain at all whilst we're riding. And that route that we rode up in the highlands, it's only passable for about two weeks of the year. So we've been super lucky. So it's time to go, time to head back to the UK. Um, keep your eyes peeled for bike checks. Size gravel bike will be on GCN soon and my Moots Mountain will be coming up on GMBN Tech. Uh, thumbs up if you love this trip to Iceland, I've absolutely loved it. Um, if you want to see a couple more videos, click over there for myself and Blake's bikepacking trip to Wales. Much more mellow version of bikepacking. Click over there for a beginner's guide to bikepacking. See you later.